and to steer ourselves from a gruesome past of state-inspired abuses. This we have done and continue to do in adherence with our laws, in the spirit of freeing our society of violent extremism, ethnocentric head speech, terrorist tendencies that have in the past plundered whole countries into genocides, disruptive violent uprisings, and war. Many of the challenges faced by the people of Uganda and Africa, including lack of access to better quality or education, dignified health care, and nutritional services, among others, are as a result of limited resources, stopping one single initiative aimed at changing our current position of suffering and poverty is an act of sabotage and enmity to our basic survival. Uganda has paid a huge sum of its already small budget to create capacity to benefit from the oil and gas sector. This far, our country has invested Euro 300 million in construction of an airport and over 500 million US dollars in roads to ease movement of labor and equipment within the oil region. It is immoral for members of the European Union who have enjoyed good education at prestigious universities to sit on their high horses and put a crashing stop to our prospects, on our dreams and aspirations more especially for the thousands of students who have spent hours and years of hard work to equip themselves with knowledge and skills and are now ready for employment in the oil field. Uganda was to construct dams on even the smallest rivers and harness 100% of its potential in hydroelectric power. We would have 6,000 megawatts of electricity. This is nothing in comparison to what is required to turn very big industrial facilities, each with a capacity to employ 500 people. If we are to achieve an industrial-driven economy that can create meaningful employment for millions of our people, our sisters, our brothers, our uncles, our aunties, our mothers, our fathers, we must without a doubt explore our alternative universally accepted resources of energy. We support the government on both the refinery and pipeline as one of the sure ways to end our energy wars for meaningful participation in industrialization. The European Union is one of the biggest buyers of Russian oil and gas resources. Europe alone has 103 operational nuclear power plants. France alone has 56 nuclear plants. France has 70% reliance on a nuclear power. Out of the 19 European states, then get more than one-third of their total energy from nuclear power to run their robust industrial networks. Hence, dominating manufacturing. As students of Uganda, we stand against the economic sabotage of Europe in their resolution to stop Uganda from developing this capacity to use nuclear power for God and my country. To deliver our petition, to the European Union, to let them understand that actually it is our role as a nation, as Africa, as East Africa, to exploit and manage our resources. It is very unethical and not correct for the European Union to say and sabotage our program of eco oil pipeline, and the following day they are passing $266 million euros to support our same pipeline in Norway. This is a clear indication that they are just sabotaging the development of this country and the development of Africa. So it is our role. UNSA has a mission that to prepare patriotic citizens for national development. So today we come here to let the country understand, the European Union to understand, that this is our patriotic role to raise up and defend our country in such a mid Because students, we are at school to look for jobs. The oil program of this country is giving us over 1 million jobs. What else do we want? That's what you want. So if you sit in European Union Parliament and you want to decide 
for us on how to develop. It is totally not right. And we are letting them know in our voices that please let us do what we are supposed to do. If it's about environment, Europe is the most pop, uh, polluted environment. They developed their country uh, against the resources, I mean against protecting the environment. So today we are saying, let us exploit our resources in peace. <laughs>